Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! I'll kill them for this. All of them. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Damn it. Sean! Open the door! Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. I could kill you. Right here, right now. Yes. Yes, you could. And I would be powerless to stop you. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. <laughs> oh, come on! That's crazy. I assure you, I am completely sane and entirely honest. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not 10, but 60 years? That is the reality. And here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. They stole you, kidnapped you. Wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. 
But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. <sighs> Sixty years. So much time. Wasted. I know. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with the loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life, and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. But... Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? I won't be a part of this. I can't. Why? 
because of the reputation of the Institute. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done? Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry to hear that. I had certainly hoped we could work together. But every man must make his own decisions. If you choose to leave, I cannot force you to stay. Understand, though, that I cannot allow you to remain within the Institute. You may have safe passage back to the Relay, where you will be sent back to the surface. But from that point, you must be considered hostile. I am sorry. I must think first of the safety of the Institute. And in the cruel world that has developed, those who are not with us are against us. The elevator will return you to the relay. Sean, can we talk about this? Have you reconsidered your decision? Sean, isn't there some other option? Some other way we can work things out? You've seen the Commonwealth. You must have some idea of how this world works. You're either with us or you're not. I'm afraid it's that simple. I... changed my mind. I'll work with you. Well, that's good to hear. All right, then. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities, Dr. Ao in SRB, Dr. Holdren in bioscience, and finally Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Sean, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. Why build it to look like you? We've advanced the technology behind since to a point where this struck me as an interesting variation. A new angle, if you will. Modeling it after myself seemed only natural, what, with the Institute's records and my genetics and physiology. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But, I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him? Like you would a real boy? I don't need a synth. I found the real Sean. Yes, but not the Sean you were looking for. In some ways, the synth is far closer to what you expected. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but if in some small way the boy's presence can help, I hope you'll keep an open mind. <laughs> 